Hello, and welcome to what might be a horror story of an unboxing. We shall see. This is a secondhand unboxing from the book bin. Not gonna lie, the book bin being a name kind of made it sound like it was gonna be a uh, cheaper kind of alternative, kind of like a Better World Books, thrift books kind of thing. And the packaging is definitely supporting that because this is just a bubble wrapper. So let's see how these books look. Uh, they were actually decently priced. Uh, one was an absolute steal. The other uh, wasn't necessarily a steal, but it was cheaper than the same... Oh, oh, wait, wait. Wait a minute. We have some cardboard around it. That'll help. Um, the other one wasn't necessarily a steal, but it was a steal for the price it was. And I, I was very interested in buying both books. So here we are. Uh, hopefully this piece of cardboard... And the tape has done the trick. We shall see. Let's just give that a little cut there. So this, my friends, are two books from Fantasia Press. Alex Berman's publishing house that was around from the very late 70s to 89, I think it was. With Tech War, was the last one he published. This is not Tech War. The William Shatner novel that he didn't actually even write. It was ghostwritten, but, you know, that's how it is. But this does feature the very first book that Fantasia Press ever released, which is the smaller of these two titles. So all the Fantasia Press ones that I've gotten have all been the same size, except for now. So how interesting. Anyways, the very first title that Fantasia Press ever put out was Wall of Serpents by L. Sprague de Camp and Fletcher Pratt. It's actually just a collection of two short stories, or I guess they might, probably more accurately two novellas. This actually held up. Oh, it's got a little ding there in the in the box. A little ding, but it could have had that prior to shipping. I don't know. Um, being the book bin was kind of a cheaper one, they didn't really have extra photos. Cool, there's the book bin receipt and my address. You don't need to see that. Um, so, one of the interesting things, this being the first Fantasia Press title, there's your smaller dust jacket, very nice, El Sprague de Camp and Fletcher Pratt. Um, one thing you will notice, if you've seen any of the other Fantasia Press unboxings, is that the uh, cloth of the book matches that of the box, the slipcase. If you haven't seen any other Fantasia Press unboxings, I have several on my channel, you should go check them out. You have the stamping on the spine. Unlike the other titles, the other titles have all had the initials of the author kind of stamped into the front. Not so much on this one. But it's also two different authors. It also makes me wonder, I can't recall, what happened with the other uh, Sprague de Camp titles that he had co-written. I can't remember if they had the uh, initials on there. So I'll have to go back and look at it. Oh, yes! I forgot. This one is also signed by... Uh, oh, what was the guy's first name? Obar? Where is the author's art copyright? It's on here, right? George Barr. George Barr. Yeah, it said in the description that he had signed the cover page. Whether or not that's his actual signature, I don't know, but supposedly it is. Um, forward by Catherine Crook de Camp. Uh, so this it was a republication. They did not, this was not a first uh, pressing, first printing, if you will. The, the very first out-of-the-gate story publication by Fantasia Press was technically a reprint. There it is, signed by L. Sprague de Camp, number 124. Handwritten uh, limitations, which is very cool. There we go. It was limited to 2,000 copies. It's actually pretty good shape, all things considered. Uh, Fletcher Pratt had pa passed away 20 years prior, so he did not sign this. Would have been pretty interesting if he had. Uh, this next one is also an El Sprague de Camp story, and I can't show you the cover. So I'm going to just unbox it over here. Unbox it over here, and I'm just going to casually bring it back over there so you can see the cover. This is the prisoners, the prisoner of Zamadak. Of Zamana, Zamanak? I, whoop, can't show you that part either. Zamanak! 
Normally, I would take the dust jacket off and be like, here's the dust jacket. Let me show you it. I'm not going to do that. You want to see the inside of the dust jacket? There's the inside of the dust jacket. Zamanak. Takes place on Krishna. Oh, and I immediately flipped it over right in camera. Don't pause your video there. That would be bad. Zamanak. Takes place on his Krishna, the planet of Krishna, which is very, very advanced. It was... Uh, instead of being like a sword and sorcery, oh, what, was the, what did he call it? It was like sword and planet. Or sword and space. Um, this one's a bit mustier. So, it might explain why it was so cheap. Kind of got a musty odor to it. So we're going to have that one hang out elsewhere for a little bit. Make sure it's just, you know, try to see if we can salvage the musty smell. There's El Sprague de Camp's signature. There we go, number 277. Uh, this, like I said, takes place on Krishna. They have... Okay, it's, I was going to say, there's like two limitations there. So, very nice. Like I said, a little bit mustier. Not that you can get that from the video. But I still think Wall of Serpents is pretty cool. Even if the second title may have been slightly a bust, but we'll see how it goes. See if we can salvage that a little bit. Nothing a little rice can't fix, right? Get rid of the musty smell. We shall see. I'm going to put this back in the slipcase so you can see it again. Look at that slipcase. And look at Wall of Serpents. Uh, anyways, Fantasia Press is pretty awesome. And that's quite literally a Wall of Serpents. You can see the serpent heads there. Uh, Fantasia Press is awesome. Alex Berman is top-notch. Uh, he recently was selling... Uh, in collaboration with Michael Whalen, uh, signed and remarked dust jackets for uh, Firestarter, the Stephen King novel, which was the very first Stephen King limited edition ever published, and it was published by Fantasia Press, which is awesome. Anyways, thank you to the book bin. Like I said, the uh, this one's kind of got the same dink in the bottom, which leads me to believe that that may have been from the shipping. But, you know, all things considered... Got a pretty good price. Wall of Serpents was the one that I was really looking forward to. That one looks actually pretty good. Uh, the other one, like I said, was just really cheap, and I was like, hey, why not? It's kind of got a musty smell. We're going to see if we can salvage that. I don't want, you know, that bringing the must to all the other books. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, checking out Fantasia Books, because Alec Berman is coming back. Alec, Alec, Alex Berman is coming back for title number 50, baby. Fantasia 50. We'll see what we'll see what it comes up with. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. We will see you around next time.